Hey guys, so we're gonna talk about the bones of the leg today. I'm gonna go over pretty quickly the bones of the, um, the leg, the upper bone, the femur, and the lower bone, the, the tibia and the fibula. So up here is the, um, is the femur, right? And so what I've done is we've got two views of the, of the, um, the left femur here. This is gonna be the anterior view or the front view, and this is gonna be the posterior view. So we've got A, which represents anterior and posterior view of the, of the same bone. All right, this is the upper leg bone. Um, one giveaway that you're looking at the anterior surface is that this little um, surface right here, the distal end of the femur, this is where the patella slides. That's called the patellar surface. So we can go ahead and label that. So patellar surface is gonna be located right there. And that tells you that that's the anterior view. If you go to the proximal end of the femur, you're gonna have the head of the femur. That's what fits inside the, the pelvis or the acetabulum. In addition, the head is connected to the neck of the femur right here. And then you're gonna have these two pretty pronounced protrusions. Those are called the trochanters, all right? And the trochanters serve as attachment sites for the hip muscles, like a lot of the adductors and abductor muscles. So this, this one up here is the greater trochanter. Right here, trochanter is right here, and then the lesser trochanter is down below. He's going to be located right here. Great. As we get down to the distal end, you'll see that the bone kind of um, uh, flanges out on other sides, on each side. Those are the epicondyles. You're going to have an epicondyle on the medial side, which is over here. So medial epicondyle is gonna be located right here. And that leads us with the lateral epicondyle right here. So lateral epicondyle, which is gonna be located right here, okay? Now, if you were to flip this guy over and look at the posterior side, you're gonna see some different features, but also some of the similar features. You still have the head located right here. Also the neck. You're also gonna see the greater trochanter right here. He's much more pronounced kind of on that posterior side in addition to the lesser trochanter, which is located right there. As we go down, um, this is where we see the two surfaces that really roll against the head or the top of the tibia, um, and, then, and that forms the knee. So these are the two condyles. The epicondyles were just the bulges on top of these guys. So here you have the two condyles, and you can see these pretty clearly. These are really two large um, protrusions that roll against the knee like that. If you look from the lateral view, you can see that these guys are really pronounced. So you're gonna have the condyles. This is gonna be the medial condyle. I'm gonna abbreviate just MED for medial condyle, and then here you have the lateral condyle, which is gonna be located right there. Between the two condyles, that's where you're gonna have a, a, a depression, which is pretty pronounced. You can see that depression right here. That's called the intercondylar fossa. So inter, between, condylar, between the condyles, and then fossa. And a fossa is just a word for um, a depression or attachment site for muscles. And that's the femur. It's really not um, too bad. If we were to kind of go further down, then we can see the, uh, the tibia and the fibula. So this is the lower leg. I've kind of drawn it from the anterior view right here, and this is the posterior view. If we were to put these two bones together, this is kind of what I've drawn on the right side, and then on the left side, you can kind of see it like that. Now, let's see here. Whoop, let's draw them. What we've got down here with the tibia, I'm not too worried about the specific parts or as specific of parts of the tibia as I am with the femur. So we're just going to have the head of the tibia that connects to the femur. Okay, if we, so this is the tibia right here. This other bone that's on the, on the lateral side of the lower leg, that's the fibula. As you go more distally, you'll see that the distal ends of both the tibia and the fibula, these are the guys that form the ankle. They're called the malleolus. You're gonna have the medial malleolus formed by the tibia. So, medial malleolus is gonna be right here, or actually like more right here, right? And then the lateral malleolus is gonna be on the lateral side, and that's formed by the distal end of the fibula. 
So lateral malleolus, which is going to be located right here. Okay, so this form the ankle, and here's the foot. We'll talk about the specifics of the foot in a different uh, lecture. I just wanted to kind of overview that. If we flip this guy over and look at the, the posterior side of the tibia, we obviously have the fibula here, the tibia here, the lateral malleolus, the medial malleolus. But what I wanted to kind of show you is that that tibia, or the fibula, excuse me, really wraps on the posterior or back side of the tibia as it goes more distally. Right, so the tibia, not only does he sit on the medial side, kind of on this side, but he's more anterior or in front, whereas that fibula, he's on the lateral side, also kind of goes behind. And you can really see that from um, the lateral view here. Okay, so that's a quick little overview of the leg. Thanks.